In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this issue on your iPhone where you try to send or forward an email and it says the sender address is invalid. So what you need to do is you need to go over to your settings in the phone. In the settings, you want to go over to mail. If you have a older iOS version, you need to go to passwords and accounts, I believe. Uh, if you have iOS 13 or higher, it should be mail. And then you click here where it says accounts. And I created a test account for Gmail. And I set it up on my mail application for the iPhone and I was getting an error where I couldn't send an email. So if we review the account settings, we're going to see mails enabled and then click on the account name. We can see all the information for the incoming mail server. And when you send an email, it uses your outgoing mail server. So we will need to review both incoming and outgoing, but specifically the outgoing mail server settings. I do have the password. You just can't see it here because it's grayed out. If you are using a common email like AOL or Gmail or Yahoo, then they use a secure socket layer authentication type. So if you go over to advanced, generally you want to make sure on the incoming settings that you use SSL. Authentication is typically password and then the server port is generally 993. So once you check the incoming mail server settings, you want to go over to your outgoing. In here, this is basically what the mail application will use primarily to authenticate and be able to send emails. And then anything here will be additional in case the primary fails. So I'm going to check my primary settings. Okay. And it looks like the username and password are empty. So 99% of the time when you get an authentication or an invalid sender address is because you need to fill this out. So in my case, username is generally your whole email address. So you will put in your whole email address. If you have a third party exchange server in a cloud or being hosted in your premise, you will need to know what the SMTP settings are, is for that server. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the password for this account. And again, this is a test account that I created. Okay, the password has been inputted. SSL, you wanna make sure it's on. Authentication, I wanna switch it to password. And then port is generally either 465 or 587 when you use SSLs. I'm going to leave it 587. And then you will click done. Okay, so once the account verifies successfully, what we could do is we could go back to our mail application and try to send an email. Now, for some services like Gmail, you need to turn on or turn off a feature or setting that's called less secure app access. This is for Gmail. If you don't have this on, then applications like mail, spark or outlook may not be able to allow your account to receive or send emails. So there's other services out there that require a app specific password. So Instead of using your login password, you have to create a third party password and type that in, in the account settings. So you just need to find out what you need to do for your email provider. But in this case, once we turn this on, now we're going to go back to our mail application. As you can see, I was a, I was able to get the new account email confirmation and I'm just going to go ahead and compose a new message 
and send it to myself or to the test account. All right, I just press send, I'm gonna refresh. And as you can see, the invalid sender address went away and I got the test email. So again, when you have this problem, make sure you check your outgoing SMTP settings and that should fix the problem. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe. <music>